Hello and welcome back for the third segment of Matchbot Training. Uh, this is Brock Fraser with Borg Warner, and in this part we're going to go through some match sizing uh, comparisons. In the last segment we talked about uh, compressor and turbine uh, map selection, uh, and in the first segment we talked about um, the engine input data. So if you uh, haven't listened to segments one and two, you might want to do that before watching this third piece. Um, the current match shown is uh, the EFR7064 turbo, so that's 70 millimeter compressor OD, 64 millimeter turbine OD. Uh, what we're going to look at is how this turbo performs uh, in the match as compared to a smaller one and as compared to a larger one. So this has been dialed in uh, for the uh, 7064. Uh, the 64 millimeter turbine uh, permits a boost threshold of 4 psi at 2000 rpm. So in the previous segment we dialed in uh, the six operating points to be on the 64 millimeter uh, turbine uh, plot line. Uh, again, all six points have to fall on one line uh, for the match to be valid and uh, with that uh, turbine power availability uh, it permits 4 psi of boost at 2000 rpm. You can see that the wastegate is just barely uh, cracking open at 2000. Uh, in reality that would still be closed at 2000 and crack open somewhere between 2 and 3000 rpm. Uh, also um, the compressor map uh, uh, efficiencies have been put back in uh, to the inputs in replacement of the default numbers. Uh, so you can see this is about 55 percent, 65 percent, 74 uh, and so on. So those numbers have been put uh, back into the inputs. Um, when you put those into the inputs it then changes the output a little bit so it's a, a bit of a loop in uh, getting that tuned in. Uh, why is that? Um, compressor efficiency has a direct uh, impact on how much power requirement uh, there is from the turbine. So when you change the compressor efficiency numbers, it then moves uh, the points around on the turbine plot a little bit. You have to dial back in the expansion ratios so that all six points uh, land on one line. So let's look at how this turbo does uh, in terms of waste gating and engine delta P. Uh, engine delta P being the turbine pressure that's required to make a given amount of boost. So uh, at this first point, um, uh, or the second point, we've got 7 psi of exhaust manifold pressure, which is letting us make 10 psi of boost. So it's requiring less turbine pressure uh, than we're making in boost pressure. In other words, the delta P is plus 3. Uh, the next point is plus 4, so still uh, very efficient overall. Um, this engine delta P is a good measure of how efficient the match is and how large or small the match is. Uh, since this match is uh, fairly medium, uh, we have a mild, uh, mildly positive delta P in the mid-range and a mildly negative delta P uh, at the top end. Uh, this minus 4 psi is showing that it's taking 21 pounds of exhaust manifold pressure to make 17 psi of boost. So in other words it's minus 4 uh, delta P. So let's compare that to the uh, other matches. A uh, nice thing about Matchbot is uh, you can put it in a, a separate browser uh, window uh, for multiple matches. So in this uh, other um, window, I've got the 6258 uh, turbo. This is the one that we dialed in uh, to a lower uh, fee curve. You can see this is a little bit uh, messed up. Um, that's because uh, the compressor efficiencies were adjusted uh, to match the real uh, mapped points and uh, as such we need to uh, tune these in uh, just a little bit so that they're on the correct curve for the 58 millimeter uh, turbine. So let me click on that. Okay that's tuned in so all six points 
are uh, uh, nearly uh, perfect uh, for that for that turbine condition. 58 millimeter wheel, uh, 0.64 A over R turbine housing. This says 0.65, but that's actually a mistake. It's supposed to be 0.64. So this match uh, permits a 7 psi uh, boost level at 2,000 RPM. So that's uh, significantly different. That's going to give uh, a better feel in the low end, uh, significantly more low end torque for um, you know around town use, uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, the compressor is also barely allowing uh, that much boost at 2,000 RPM. You'll find that uh, compressor surge um, is often coincident with uh, turbine driving ability. Um, that's not by accident. Uh, the pairing of compressor to turbine is uh, trying to um, be as efficient as possible, uh, trying to be um, equally matched on low end capability. So in other words, uh, we've paired compressor with turbine, uh, trying to um, have a balanced uh, low end capability, limited by surge and limited by turbine drive power um, at, the, at the same uh, coincident point. So this pairing, uh, 6258, is both on the turbine side allowing 7 psi of boost at 2000, and it's uh, surge line limited uh, 2000 RPM, 7 psi. Let's look at the numerical output. Um, turbine, uh, the, the turbine is more restrictive, uh, so we have minus 6 psi delta p and minus 11 uh, psi delta p at the high end. This is significantly uh, more exhaust manifold pressure than what we had on the previous match. Uh, this is 28 psi of exhaust manifold pressure to make 17 pounds of boost. So the engine is not going to breathe as well um, uh, at this uh, high speed condition with this smaller match. Just like you'd expect, uh, we're making more low end boost, but uh, it is not breathing as well uh, on the top end. So how does that play out? Well, this, this uh, minus 11 psi uh, engine delta P in the real world uh, would feed back into our inputs. It would give uh, less volumetric efficiency and it would give worse or higher uh, BSFC. So if we adjusted those two numbers what you'd find is we'd have to uh, dial the match back in because those two things would affect the match slightly and it would impact uh, this calculated uh, power number. So you can play around with that uh, on your own but that's how um, these, uh, the, the, this breathing number uh, affects volumetric efficiency and BSFC. Now, what's the problem here? We don't know how much of an effect it's going to have. Uh, it might lower volumetric efficiency to 100% or maybe 95% as compared to 105. It may take this BSFC uh, up to 0.6 or maybe even 0.65 instead of 0.55. We don't know what those effects are. Uh, that's a limitation of doing uh, this kind of simplified match. It doesn't have a full feedback loop uh, back into engine pumping work. Uh, on, the, on the OEM side, uh, this is what engine manufacturers do as well as what uh, we do. Uh, we do pumping loop uh, simulations, we being the industry, um, including um, code like GT Power or uh, Ricardo or AVL programs that will then uh, calculate how much of an effect on VE and BSFC or in other words combustion efficiency that uh, change in uh, delta P that breathing uh, characteristic across the cylinder head how, how much how strong of a feedback uh, that has that that's the advantage of going one step further into uh, 1D cycle simulation so let's look at the uh, third match. Um, this match is uh, the largest of the three. <coughs> it's a uh, EFR 7670 turbo, so 76 millimeter compressor, uh, 70 millimeter turbine. You can see that the points are uh, not reaching uh, as far deep into the map, so this is going to be very efficient uh, at high power. Uh, but we're not able to make as much uh, low-end boost, uh, which is predictable. 
Um, I, I, I already did the adjustments. Uh, 2.7 PSI was able to be achieved at 2,000 RPM, so uh, a significant loss as compared to that smaller 6258 turbo. Uh, but what we're seeing is um, a change in um, placement of the points. So what we have to do is we have to dial back in uh, these efficiencies, uh, which uh, I haven't done yet. So um, I already took a look at the compressor map. Uh, this first point uh, needs to be 55%. Um, this uh, second point needs to be 60%. Uh, this uh, third point uh, needs to be 70%. These two are about right. Well, this one needs to be about 74%. And this last one uh, needs to be 73%. So you can see a significant change from 66% uh, to 73%. Uh, and uh, that reflects uh, where we're running on the compressor map. Uh, we've fallen out of uh, capability uh, at the low end on this. So we have to uh, dial back in. Uh, that uh, to be valid. Let's look at the turbine. Okay, the uh, turbine is uh, not dialed in because we've changed the power requirement uh, for the turbine by uh, adjusting the compressor efficiencies. So we need to put these points back on the 70 millimeter line. So I'm going for 70 millimeter turbine wheel uh, 0.83 A over R. So I need to uh, open up um, this 0.6 to a higher expansion rate, I'm sorry, a lower expansion ratio, a higher uh, turbine swallowing capacity, which is the y-axis. Okay. All right, that's dialed back in. Let's now look at our outputs. Um, the breathing at the top end is very nice. We have minus one uh, PSI, so in other words, it is only requiring 18 PSI of exhaust manifold to make 17 PSI of boost. So this is going to breathe uh, very well at the top end. Uh, again, that would feed back in to uh, better BSFC and better uh, volumetric efficiency if we had a feedback, uh, some kind of feedback loop on this. And uh, again, the effect is uh, a better top end, but with a uh, worse boost threshold. We're making uh, 2.7 psi of boost at 2,000 RPM, and as indicated by this 1% waste gating, we are barely making uh, 9 psi of boost at 3,000, whereas before we were easily making the target of 10 psi. So that shows uh, how to compare. Uh, three different matches, uh, 6258, 7064, and 7670 uh, against the same uh, 2 liter um, 17 PSI uh, match targets.